A Kansas City federal judge ruled that a certain law that the government is using to prosecute employers of undocumented immigrants is unconstitutional. It's a case that could have some big implications. Leslie Aguilar explains. Right now, the defense attorneys in this case are waiting to see if the government appeals the decision made yesterday here at the federal courthouse in KCK. If they do and the 10th Circuit Court of Appeals reverses this court's decision, this case could go all the way to the Supreme Court. The defendants in this case are both undocumented immigrants from Mexico. They worked out of this Lawrence building for a drywall company. They supervised a group of workers who were also in the country illegally. Both men faced federal charges of conspiracy to encourage or induce undocumented aliens to reside in the U.S. Yesterday, a Kansas City federal judge cleared the charges and dismissed the case, saying the law is unconstitutional. The significance is the statute as it's written is extremely overbroad. Uh, there's areas of protected speech that uh, the statute can actually criminalize. Robert Calby represents one of the defendants in the case. He says if the Kansas judge's decision sticks, it could have big implications for employers who hire undocumented workers. It could uh, have an impact on employers where, uh, you know, they can no longer be charged criminally, at least under this particular statute. Calby's client dodged up to 10 years in prison but now faces deportation. He has a wife, he has children that were born in this country, so he's pretty much settled in, if you will. Yesterday's decision here in Kansas follows a similar decision in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals in California. If the government wins an appeal in this case, it would mean the circuit courts are split on this issue. Of course, we'll let you know what happens. Reporting in KCK, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News.